Neha, welcome back to my channel. Is Maria here? <laughs> okay, I'm pretty excited because uh, I don't know. I'm in a new house. I that's why this corner looks like so empty, but it's because I just moved in. And yeah, and it's a lot of things going on in my life. I'm blonder now. <laughs> I'm like ginger somehow. But anyway. I decided that I was still, you know, like in this corner of my house, sit and talk about different aspects of my life, uh, what you want to know about modeling life, uh, some tips, what I have learned during the journey. Because I think it's really interesting because in my eight years as a model, I learned so many things that I really wanted to people to tell me before I start modeling. Like if I knew this from the very beginning, things would be have been like much easier. Like I wouldn't take everything like so gr for granted. I wouldn't be so hard on myself. Cause trust me, <sighs> anyway, modeling, I love you. <laughs> but I really want to do this video because I feel like I can tell a lot of you know younger girls I say like if I'm old I'm not I'm only 23 I mean not the youngest but I'm not old and this video is gonna be about five things that I wish I knew before I start modeling and here they are. Okay, I just wrote it down in my phone so I don't forget. I actually, I'm, I'm, I'm a big girl, okay? I love lists and I, you get me. So, uh, the first thing that I would say that, oh my God, you know, please don't do this and please be aware of this is that you'll be comparing yourself with other models 24 seven because at the end you're never gonna be enough. Like, if I knew this, like, if somebody before I signed my first contract, before I went to my first trip, they would tell me, like, you know, you're gonna feel less than the other models. You're gonna feel like you need to be taller, skinnier, fatter, shorter sometimes, uh, blonder, darker hair, I don't know. So many things. I wish I would say, like, okay, I'm prepared to to you know realize that okay this is me I'm like my necklace is falling down somebody would tell me like you would be comparing yourself 24 7 i'll be like oh my god why like don't don't do it like i that thing that has been my number one struggle in my life and if i didn't do it if i didn't just compare myself so much i know I will have been a happier person, a more secure person, probably my career will have been a lot more successful. So that's why I'm here telling you, don't do it, don't do it, don't compare yourself, you're unique, we are beautiful and unique, for real. This might sound like so cliche, but it's true, I mean I know that there's no other girl in this whole world that looks like me or that is as good model as me i mean saying it the most humble way of course <laughs> not really but you know what i mean if you think you're the best if you believe in what you have then trust me the journey this model journey won't be that bad but if you start comparing yourself you start feeling less than others don't do it don't do it you're gonna be have a miserable career and i'm telling you uh, the first years of me modeling, I was miserable because of that stupid thing that I was doing. <laughs> don't do it. Just don't do it. And the second one is that <sighs> you'll not be in a fabulous lifestyle. You're not. You're go not gonna fly on first class. There's not gonna be a limo picking you up for jobs. Sometimes you really need to just walk for jobs. Um, they're not gonna pay you like a million dollars. In your first job your desires will not give you your clothes you, all your friends are not gonna be famous like all of them trust me I mean 
one day you can get that but if you are starting a modern career looking for that you're gonna crash because that ain't gonna happen at first i mean i have singers that are really like living this life but no i mean i was watching some you know victoria's secret mode blogs and i was like oh my god my blogs don't look like that you can look back and see my old vlogs modeling in Asia, modeling here in Colombia and trust me they're not like that I mean, no sometimes at jobs they don't even give me food I, <laughs> I'm not I just want you to be realistic here if you're gonna start a career because of that like, don't, no, you're wasting your time it takes a lot of time you have to work your ass off to get to that point one day but you're not gonna start there trust me and the third one will be you have to invest in yourself and that's something that probably I mean that any other job you have to invest on yourself but it's rare when you say like okay I have to invest oh, this thing's awesome bye well so what I was saying is just that when you really need to mess in your business, this is your business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this is your business. So for example, I have to invest in, you know, yeah, getting a gym membership, uh, using good product for my skin, for my hair, going to a good salon. Even the way you dress, you have to really, you know, this is your image. So you have to be a fashion kind of girl if you want to, I mean, in any style you're following um, so that's the way you have to look at it invest on yourself cause, you know, if you want to be the best model you have to look your best and I have learned this throughout the years and that will say for it. the first that this and the most annoying one is and listen to me, you have to follow this really people not take your job seriously there would be people I know because I was really mad at my friends and my family when I graduated from school and I said I want to pursue my modeling career and everybody was like poor little girl, like she's a dumb girl like that is not even called a career for some people but you have to, and then you have to be really strong and say like, yeah, you know, I want to pursue my job. I want to pursue my career. This is a real job. I earn money. I am serious about it. And I didn't care. The only ones that actually support me were my parents. And I'm really, really glad they did. Because if they did, there was a lot of people, even my friends from school were saying like, when you're gonna start studying, you're wasting your time. Like, oh my god, what are you doing? Like, Maria, please just settle down. And I'm like, I'm fuck settled down, you know? I am working my ass off. I am traveling. I am earning money. I'm working. Of course, things change a little because of the pandemic. Like, I now I'm a student. <laughs> I am based here in Colombia, but I still modeling. I still invest in myself. I still see myself as a model. And you have to be true to yourself if you really want to be in this world you have to take this job seriously and that also leads me to another part of this point that is people will not take your job seriously also by some brands that will just text you on instagram and will say to you like oh my god you are so pretty um we want to do a photo shoot with you but um, we will give you lunch and you're like <laughs> what <laughs> like oh my god <laughs> you know I, you have to pay me for my job <laughs> it's a job <laughs> even though if you're gonna pay me or not you have to give me lunch anyway so what or they going to text you like oh my god uh your instagram is so beautiful and um we can make you can like have a photo shoot with us and then you're gonna have pretty photos for your instagram <laughs> sorry like i know instagram is everything for us but i mean oh my god like <laughs> what it's a job you have to pay me for it so trust me of course when you're gonna start your career they're gonna you have to 
partnership with a lot of photographers, with a lot of persons to, you know, start escalating your career. But trust me, when you're there, when you're here, or even when you're here, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't give up. Don't give to any people that are not going to pay you, you know, for your job. It's not fair for you. It's not fair for us, the other models. And it's not fair for everyone that is working in the industry. Don't do it. I'll be watching. No, but it's... I, mm, mm. Don't do it. And the fact and the most important one is that attitude is everything. You can be the tallest model. You can be the shortest model. You can be the most gorgeous one, the ugliest one, whatever model there is. But if you don't believe in yourself, if you don't believe you're the fucking best model in the whole entire world, people are not gonna see you that way. People are gonna be like, mm, past, she's boring. And I'm telling you from my experience, like I was considered so many years the shortest model. And I will go to jobs and they will see me like, oh, she's so short, like, and I was a story time right now. Uh, there was a moment in my life in which I was feeling really bad because I was the shortest model in the fashion, in, it's called Colombia Models, like a fashion week here in my city. And I was the shortest one and they always tell me like, don't go because you're the shortest and you're not gonna get any like runways or like designers are not gonna see you. Of course it was that way. <laughs> I became and I was so scared and I was like, oh my god yeah they are so tall like oh my god what i'm doing here but then my mom was like forget it you have so many things that the other moms don't have so just give it it all and i was like you know it's true i'm unique i have my thing i'll just give it all and that's what i did i i started you know going for castings film the best fucking model in the entire country also in the entire world because oh my god i was on fire and guess what i got only one runway that season only one it was my first one and i walked it and then uh, i won this award of model of the year in my country can you believe that because i can't like really i can't like when they when they just sent me the certificate like oh my god you are nominee for the best model of the year like new best model of the year and i was like what so yeah they saw you on this runway and now you're nominee and i was like oh my god there was a moment that i learned that attitude is everything i was the shortest model of all trust me people were telling me what are you doing here but i knew what i was doing there and I knew that what I got was enough to be on that fucking runway. And now, well, and after that, I traveled to Asia, I started signing international agencies, and you know, I was like, oh my god, limits are only in my head. So, okay, so this video is pretty long right now, but um, I just wanted to give you some advice, some tips, because. Trust me, you really need to know this beforehand and start modeling or if you're already modeling, you're gonna be like, yeah, she's so right. And if you are like in this situation, same as me, if you are making the same mistakes, it's time for you to stop. Stop. <laughs> so yeah, I hope this video is really useful for you, for everyone that is watching or if you just wanna know how it's it is, it actually is to be a model. Well, here I am to tell you all of this. So, see you in another video. Bye bye. Shishu.